Hello and welcome to a new video in the Farsi script. Uh, today's video you need to focus because it, we will discuss the scene and the sheen. Uh, they are easy but they have lots of uh, notes and uh, tricks in there. Now the first thing we need to talk about in this script is the following. Uh, for the uh, holding the pen we talked ages ago that you have uh, the choice of using two pens. One is the full thickness and the other one is third or fourth the thickness. Uh, this will come in really come in handy in this in today's lesson. Uh, that's the first note. Uh, the second note is that we need to wrap our heads around the idea of changing the orientation of the pen throughout a letter. And that's something we talked about before, but in today's lesson we are going to see it. Uh, focused and more in depth and we will start with the normal scene now for this scene we have some notes the general shape of a scene consists of three nebirat one two three and finally we have a cup so this is a scene or a sheen with three dots on top of it now these three nebirat we will come to later because in Farsi they have different shapes depending on the case and the following letter etc. Uh, let's start with the uh, normal one. Now for the normal one you will have sort of a, an imaginary line over here and this would be the top part that we will take the letters from, the nebirat from. Now on top of this line you are going to put two dots just like this. This is the width of the three nebirat. Now the first nebir will take a space that is about the width of the first point. The second one would do the same for the second point and the third one would come on this line. So we've got the first nebir, the second nebir and the third nebir. Divided and separated with uh, one dot in between. When you start the first one you do this move. You basically have the pin in this direction, quite flattish, and you move to have a shape that looks like a, uh, how can I explain it, it's like a horn, imagine if there was a bull here and it will have two horns, so this looks like a horn, it's quite a sharp line then a curve upward. Now you need to be careful because here, when you start from this angle, you're going to do it with the uh, fourth thickness. So you're going down and you're going up with a fourth. You don't go all the way up to the to this line, no. You leave this area here. You do the same move for the second nebula and you'll stop even lower than this one. So you go down and you go up and you stop here. As you can see we have it lower. So there's another imaginary line here that shows the angle where the scene is built built upon. These are the three nebirat, one, two, and three, which is in the end here. Now at the end, you're going to add one point here and drag this, no, this part down. It's a thin part that goes down, just like this. Then, we are going to add two points for the cup. And from this third nebula we are going to add one point. Inside we are going to add three points. And the top here will be three points because of the point that we left here. So for this one, keeping the pen, as you can see, it's more of this angle than the first one that we started with. And we are going to use the full thickness of the pen. We go down rotate, come back, and we stop here. So, we go down, rotate, and stop below the uh, end line. As we can see here, we've got a really nice scene or a sheen. If it was a sheen, we add the three dots up here. And we can see the change of thickness throughout the letter, uh, especially the cup where it has the thickest part. Note that the cup 
is pointing to this direction as we've always said. Uh, now this is the normal uh, scene or sheen. There's another one that has this shape in it, the long one. For this one it's two points high. So that you would start from this and go all the way down this way. Now, here you have two parts for the letter. The first part would be doing this move. Curving down, then flattening it, then curving upward. The first part for now we are going to take as five points. And the second part would be four points. This adds up to nine. Now for this Kshida you will find out that in future we will do it from 5, 7, uh, 9 and there's 11 points. So you have several widths for it. The secret behind this is that you start with a pen held flat. So here it's flat. You start going up, curving upward like this. Then the angle starts to naturally become more straight, more vertical, just like this. This would be the five point distance, just like this. Then you have a four point distance that is going upward. And while going upward, the pen will change its orientation to ver almost vertical. You see how the orientation of the pin here, it's different than here, it's different than here, and finally it's really flat here. So when you draw this, you will see why we did all these moves. There's a slight change of thicknesses between this part and this part. Here it's almost four quarters or two thirds. Meanwhile here it's the full thickness, and that what gives this letter the beauty that it is famous for and here we have the two points the height of this again we do the one point here we take it down a bit then we do the two points body with the same rules as the other one with three points inside three points here and uh, you could just fill this with points if you want to so here we've learned two uh, scenes and scene and sheens of course the, letter, the dots for the sheen would be up here and uh, I hope this was clear because it's quite a challenging letter to learn. Next we are going to see how the uh, connected one looks like. For the connected one we are going to make a small table to make it easier for us to understand it. We have the first nebula and the second nebula and the third nebula. Each one of them has several shapes. For the first one we have two shapes. The first shape would be like the one we just did. Now it is half the thickness but I'm going to do it with the full thickness of the pencil that you could imagine how it looks like. The first one as we see it, we, we saw before is just this rhino or like a, a horn. This we do with the half thickness of the pen. The second shape as we can see here the first shape had a sudden stop. The second one is actually a curvier one. So we're going with it down with the same angle. We go up and we change direction downward. So for the first one, it does not stop. It changes shape and goes down and it includes the second one in this nudge up down here. These are the two shapes for the first nebula. Now we have another <coughs> case, also, and more cases for the second one. The first case for the second one, if we came with the first option of the first one, which was this, the second one would be the same. Keep in mind that nebulae are coming with an angle. Now this is the first one, as we can see. The second one would be like the first one with half the thickness. This is the first option for the second nebula. Uh, the second option for the second nebula is similar to this one. So let's take this nebula. This is the first one. And the second one 
would start like the first one, but then curves down like this. So also it's half the thickness. So we'll include the third one with it. So as we can see here, it's quite sharp and nudgy. Here it's curvy, where it includes the third one with it. Finally, we have a third one, a third shape for the second nebula. And for that one, it's quite different. So imagine you started with the first one. The second one here will curve up, go all the way down to here. It's quite long with this curve. Then it will change sudden curve all the way up to the third one. And keep in mind that this is higher than this one. So here we have three cases for the second nebula. The third one is the one that has the abundant amount of cases. Now for the third one, we have a first case, a special case for the rot. So we are going to add the first nebula that goes down with the second nebula, stops here. Again, all these were half thicknesses. For the third one here, we are going to use the full thickness with a motion just like the rot motion that we saw before. I added double thickness here because this is considered half or quarter. So here we have the full thickness. If we were to write it naturally with this pen, it will be something like this. You can see the first one, which is sharp. The second one, which was uh, a nudge downward, taken from this one. And the third one, which was the full thickness, going down to a rod. This, as we saw, is the first case. The second case would be similar to the first two here, which comes with the majority of the letters. So you've got the first nebula, comes the second one, and the third one is just a mimic to it, and it goes, for example, if you want to connect it with a sod. So here we can see how easily it connects to the sod. Again, those are uh, not full thicknesses, they are half or quarters. Meanwhile, here we have the full thickness for this sod. The third one is quite special for the third uh, nebula. Here you have the first nebula, which was this one, Another, and the second one is the curved down. The third one would be full thickness, going up like this. Then it connects with something. So for this one, for example, you will have a butt. Connects to a scene. This goes up the full thickness. Uh, then, for example, we could do this. So this word could be yestur, yeah. Seen. This is the ta. So yestur. You see how the scene here looks like. This is what we meant by this move. The fourth option would be the first one with the normal second one that stops here. And the third one would be just going down and up, for example, with an elif. So the first one was the first one, the second one was the first one for the second one, and the third one is this one. It's like a normal, and it's the one that we use with the uh, singular scene or sheen. Uh, the fifth one would be the curvier one. So here we have a sharp, here we have a sharp, but the third one would be the curve. It's different from this one. This one is a, st a sharp stop up, then a sudden move down. Here, no, it's a curve. And you would continue it with whatever letter after it. Again, these are halves. This one is full. Now the sixth one is the one we saw here, but it will be the full thickness. It comes with the uh, yeah. So we are going to use the first and a curvier second, just like we did here. And the third one would be full thickness. 
and it will come down to a year. The sword, yeah. Just like this. So if you were to write it with a normal uh, shape. It would look something like this. Shape, for example. Laser chemistry shape. Now we have 7th and 8th. The 7th one is uh, the one that is related to the singular one. Which is similar to the 5th one. Or the 4th one. And here we stop. Then we go down. The 8th one... <coughs> is like the curvy one we saw before but this one it curves and it goes down to connect with ha, ra, ya, uh, ha. so here we have first move the second move and the third one would curve and go down as we can see here now of course they are all coming with an angle and here for example we could write shahid Now, I did use the full thickness here, considering these were like half thicknesses. And this is the sheen. And this is the ya. Uh, and here we have the word shahid, and this is the ha. Uh, we will talk about later. So these are the cases for the nabirat. And uh, obviously, the first one comes whatever you want to, to come with. But the second one also has a variety of uh, you don't have to stick to it but the third one for example this one is a special case for Ra the second one is for any letter you want that is not special here uh, we can use it to add nice touches inside the word if there was an Ibarat after it like a Ba or whatever uh, here we could ha use it with Alif a letter that goes up here is a special case for the sword Ya and here we s here is the one that is singular Finally, we have the one that connects with Ha, Mim, Ha, uh, Ya, and Ra. So these are the cases. Uh, make sure to write notes about them to memorize them. Now we are going to talk about the last uh, few notes, which is the connected from the right or the end scene. So if it was connected from the right with a normal type of scene, if this was a Ba, we go up half, to start the connection, this is the first nibbara, the nudge up here. Then we go down, another one, and another one. That stops. So here we have one, two, and three, and we end it. So this is, for example, is bis or bus. Now this is how it connects before. You just go up and connect it with whatever letter was before it. If it was a ha, you see, you can easily connect it. His or uh, so this is talking about the connection before the scene and all the letters actually use the same thing so if you have a ta you would go up a sheen for example tush uh, or if it was connected you will have to see what connection uh, is after it uh, we have cases for the uh, kshida one and for those ones you need to be careful with something for example you could start with this bar we saw before because this sheen or scene is long so it will not confuse the reader where is the scene that's why we used this bar for this scene by the way I think we mentioned it in the bat lesson now here you have one point if it was five points of width again for this one you go down you curve up and finally you would do this so this would be bus or bish or whatever. We also use the one point uh, drop if it was seven points. So we go down, we take one point, and we've got our seven points here. And we use the same thing for this. Now this point has to be here anyway, because it's too high. And we do the cup for the scene. Meanwhile, if it was 9 or 11, you will need two points for it to properly get the shape that you want it to have. 
So here you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We've got 11 points here, so it will naturally be lower than the ones before. And finally here you would do the cup for it. Uh, these are the cases for the uh, singular. The Neberat, when it connects with... You need to focus on the third one, because that's where the majority of the confusion uh, can, like the what would you know if it was followed by Assad what would you do if it was followed by Ayn for example so these cases help you and uh, the special ones are this one for Ha, Ha, Ya, Mim, Ra uh, this one for the Ra uh, here you would use it with higher letters such as Alif, uh, Lam, Kaf, Dal uh, here you have a nice case for when you have a combination of uh, letters uh, connected to uh, that we will see it in uh, the examples now for homework you should do the following we are going to write the first word is Salsabil we are going to use the Ikshida the long one we curve up with a lamb, which is like an alif. Then from here we are going down to a scene. This scene. And we are going to thicken it. This is the theme that the scene that comes with the thick part. Then we are going to add a ba, a ya, and then another lamb. So when you dot this, you know that this is a ba. And a ya. Sin, lam, sin, ba ya lam, sal sabil. Next we have sharhabil. For sharhabil, we are going to use the case with the ra. Sheen, ra, ha, ba, ya, and the lam. With regards to controlling of thicknesses throughout the text, uh, what you have to do is rotate the pen. So you could actually start practicing this by starting with a full thickness, writing it, then lift the pen up, keeping the top of the pen, as you can see it redu reduces thickness, then putting it back on the paper, you can see how straight it's on the top and how you can control the and how you can control the thickness. This way you can guess how much of the pen is touching the paper and you can uh, write fourth, uh, fourth, uh, two third or full. Practice this move by rotating the pen this way, lifting it off the paper basically. Uh, the third uh, word would be sahab. Here we are going to use the last, the eighth connection. So you have the first one and the second one and the third one that goes down um, uh, notice that here I used the sharp two, first two meanwhile here and here it was normal now we did this because of the hat now the hat is followed by an elif so we are going to use this hat the turtle shell hat as you can see and for the bat I'm going to use the really long beautiful one this one Sahab. Here we have some mistakes for this one, but yeah. So here you have it. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. It's quite a challenging letter to uh, learn, but hopefully these notes will help you write with it. And make sure to like, subscribe, and tell your friends who want to learn this script. This has been Amar Audi, and uh, see you in the next class. Goodbye.